It's well, uncomfortable to be wet. Yeah. Say, is it? Yeah. I've never been wet before, but yeah, I'm sure it's uncomfortable it? to be wet. You know, moist is one thing, but wet is just another. Uh. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't what we shooting for. Yeah, that I mean. You hear what? Isn't that Miss 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 Ma'am? No. Oh. Wait a minute. I did nothing for that. Oh, oh that's oh, 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 a minute. Miss Runner, Miss Miss Runner, Miss Brittany Renner, single mother of the year as well as twerk a holic, recently went absolutely crazy on a podcast where she lost her composure and threw water at the host as well as Charleston White in a banshee-ridden tirade. I'm going to go over this video for you guys. Now, listen, I'm going to leave a link to the full clip down in the description box down below in case you want to watch it without any comments. It also looks like this is from a live stream, and the live stream was taken down and probably is going to be repackaged and re-uploaded. So feel free to go over there and subscribe to the channel so you can see it if that is what you're interested in. Without further ado, PJ just got an amazing contract. <laughs> How does that make you feel as a woman knowing that's your baby father? What is your first view on that? Honestly, I want my child's father to win. Exactly. It's just what it is. And regardless of what of what people say, I believe he deserves whatever he feels he's worthy of. So it, whatever that contract looks like, that's what it looks like. And I didn't have a child. You know, I had a, a second degree tear. You know what that looks like? Oh, God. Before she gets into that, P.J. Washington agrees to a three-year, $48 million contract to remain with the Hornets. This happened about two days ago, so the look of disdain on her face when the host brought it up, really, she's thinking about that dollar amount. One of which she missed out on, and knowing her past and knowing what she's willing to do for money, it makes sense why her face was all screwed up when asked about him. I believe he deserves whatever he feels he's worthy of. So, it, whatever that contract looks like, that's what it looks like. And I didn't have a child. You know, I had a, a second degree tear. You know what that looks like? I'm gonna say no. Hello? No. Hello? Say no for all of Is everybody fucking listening? Say no. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you, a second that. degree tear? You know what that looks like? Do. I mean, I mean, I mean that ball was that big when you had it. He was, I think it was 8.1.5. That means she had big a big boy. baby. Almost nine pounds, right? Another NBA player. <laughs> Does that matter to you? Does that matter to you? Who had such a motherfucking Wait, he confused. Me? Wait, Does time that matter? Out. It's group. Hold on. Change, Hold yeah, on. No. <laughs> Answer the motherfucking question. No, it didn't initially. No, hell. Okay, I had a second degree tear. That means they sewed me up. Yeah, okay. That means the viscous Ennis was ultimately eviscerated, which is ultimately surprising knowing her big dick baller past. You understand what I'm saying? Let go. Uh, right. You know what that means? That means I love that motherfucker. My pussy was fucking split open for him. Right. You understand that? He was almost nine pounds. Big boy. Okay. Gratefully, I had a five pound baby. Good for you. Yeah, My yes. baby was almost nine pounds. Big boy. Okay. Yeah. God. And that's just what it is. All right. No, I wanted to say that because I think it is important. A lot of people do. What's important? Uh, that you do wish well for him. Uh, most, most, most. Here's the thing. Let me just let me just tell you, you and every one of the motherfuckers that are commenting. She's doing too much. She's. She you are needs. baby girl. At the end of the day, <laughs> this puppy had a second. Degree tear. Do you know what that means? Shut up. Uh, you just taught us. Rip. What is it? <laughs> Ripped. Thank you, Charleston. Ripped open. Ripped. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, boy had a head like his daddy. Ma'am. Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah. Boy had a head Man, like his daddy. Damn, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> all right. Hold on. So, all right, just real quick. Let's just pay attention to what's yeah, happening yeah, here. Head. Right here, she's actually kicking um some things Damn. out on Damn, the, Damn, uh, the table. The poor host right here. God bless his soul. He seems to be laughing all through all of this obnoxious ass. Uh, behavior, but if you pay attention to the psychology of what just happened, she completely def deflected from the PJ Washington $50 million contract to making it about her. But she's screaming about it like a goddamn child, yelling for attention. All right, <laughs> hold on. So, a ripped <laughs> fucking vagina. Let me, hold on. Say it again, say fucking. it again. For the people in the back. Let me tell you something 50 pounds. Do you hear what I'm saying? That boy born 50 pounds? No, she, you gave I me. gained oh. 50 pounds. Oh, shit. Charleston, 50 pounds. That's just somebody I'm just whatever. It's about money. Let me tell you something. I can't be bought. 
Hello. That's what that's what all these people in the chat can't seem to understand. They think I can be bought. They think that it's just about money. It's just whatever. It's the highest bidder. I believe in true love. Hello. I heard her say that. Uh, but you I know, said we it a hundred that. fucking times. Huh. Hey, Hello. Hey, listen. Now listen. Listen to what I'm fucking saying. Shut the fuck up when a real bitch is talking. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Get Shut the, the fuck up. Take the road. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Charles's face. <laughs> I'm a real fucking bitch. You hear what I'm saying? Talk. And I care. And I'm a hopeful romantic, but I can't control. You're At crazy. the end of the day, I try to force something that wasn't mine. That wasn't my person. And that's okay. He's sitting over there motherfucking. Shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. Shut Yo. up. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. That's peripheral. Shut up. That's peripheral. Seriously, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Because if you ever felt real love to where you have a motherfucking second degree tear, mm. hello? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. He didn't mean it. Hello? He didn't mean oh, it. Shit. Hello? You don't know what it's like. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So the guy off screen is actually Shannon Briggs, a former heavyweight champion of the world. She accidentally hit Shannon in lieu of someone else that was laughing at her egregious behavior. At this point, this is just sad to watch. It's not even funny. But if you notice, the mannerisms of most of the men in the room, including Charleston White, seem to be one of comedy. They are laughing at the destruction or the downfall of what it looks like to be a sad and bitter baby mother. But what they don't know is that they are contributing to her bad behavior. Because if you don't check wild, terrorist, banshee, anarchist like this one right over here, then their behavior gets exponentially worse. The majority of y'all know that I am in a new city and have been actively in these streets dating. And the consistent theme that always comes up is that these young women cannot believe that I am 38 years old. And my response to them is always the same. Ma'am, it's because I invest in myself, all right? And specifically, I invest into a skincare routine which produces dividends, which is why I'm so happy that Teach Hanley is the sponsor of today's video because they are my skincare routine of choice. I've been working with Teach Hanley now for over two years and the reason is, is because their products work. And I need something that works, guys, consistently. And not just because I'm on a screen every other day, but because having an unhealthy or an acne-ridden face impacts your image, which impacts how people treat you. Having bad skin, just saying it, but having good skin, attractive skin, will get you more dates, bigger and better job opportunities, and it'll also be easier to make friends. I recommend that you guys start out with the level one system. You'll have everything that you'll need to start looking and feeling absolutely amazing, including a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. So I know all of this kind of sounds like a lot, but trust me when I say that it's easy because Teach Hanley works to uncomplicate skincare. How do they do this? Well, in every box comes this instruction notepad which tells you what to take, how much of it to take, and in what order. And if you're still not convinced, go check out their website for their 5,000 five-star reviews from satisfied customers all over the globe. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a fantastic deal. Just click the first link down in the description box down below to get 30% off of your first box as well as a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started. Today. I meant to hit this nigga. Wrong guy, wrong guy. Let me tell you wrong something. Guy, Shut wrong guy, the fuck up. Wrong. This right here is about to go. Let me tell you something. Yeah, no, we good, we good. Shut up we good, when we I'm fucking talking. No, seriously, yo, come on, yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit no. you. I meant to hit that nigga. Because you sitting over here laughing. Uh, all right, chill, 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 chill. Relax, relax. I ain't chilling. Relax, relax. Because at the end of the day, it ain't your uh, pussy. Cool, yo. Hey, listen. I hear you. That ain't cool, lady, for real. I'm not part of this. Hey, listen, that's fine. But guess what? You protecting him is what it is. Is it not? Is it not? Is it not? See, it's the wrong nigga. Hey, don't be sitting over there laughing. Let me tell you, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to him right here. I ain't talking to me. Then bat me in my shit then. Bat me in my shit. Apologies, chap. Bat me in my shit. I don't hit women, yo. That's right. Shady Briggs right here. Trip it out. We're good. We're good. Apologies, champ. At the end of the day, all right, I don't give a fuck you talking about lady. I don't care. At the end of the day, nobody knows what I went through. Nobody knows what I'm going through. So nobody, you, yeah. Him, 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 whoever the uh, f bro, You don't get to sit here and talk about shit. Ain't nobody drunk bitch about nothing. What's up? What's up? What's up? Chap, chap, no. We ain't talking about nothing. We ain't talking about nothing. Shout out to Shannon Briggs. See, Shannon Briggs is not there for content. He's not up on screen, so he don't want it to be disrespected. 
inevitably. Charles De White is allowing this shit to happen, and the other men in the room are probably just confused and don't know what to do, but they're also allowing this shit to happen because it's content at the end of the day, which is much different than how we take content on this side of the internet today. This is like more mainstream, old guard content where women are allowed to act obnoxious like this, but have this be a man acting like this. He would have been canceled yesterday. We family. This is Charleston's people, not mine. She it's Charleston's she people. She no, she we family. We he family. said, you all right? I ain't no fucking security, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Get a chill. Bet me in my shit then. Come on. Then shut the fuck up. Chill, 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 chill. Let's relax, 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 relax. All right, let's reset the room. Let's reset the room, Let is what it is. Let's reset the room, It is what it is. Everybody cool, guys. Everybody cool. Sorry, guys. Right, right. Like He's family here, guys. Right, right. Family here, guys. You don't, you don't like Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner, we fuck with her. She's got to play. All right, all right. All right, let's relax. Let's reset the room for a second. Nah, don't reset shit. What <laughs> the fuck we on? <laughs> we on the motherfucking Charleston. dance project, man. Motherfucking Capricorn in the motherfucking building. Hey, building. hey, let me tell you something. I, hey, I don't care what you're talking about, because I really buy it in here shit. <laughs> No, this is my touch up. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Don't nobody get to tell me shit about shit. Right. At the end of the day, Charleston. Yes, ma'am. This, yes, ma'am. This is a motherfucking real nigga right yes, here. Right. And if I didn't understand him, yes, he didn't understand ER. me, we wouldn't understand each other. Right. Hands, so, what's up? I'm just happy. Yeah, I got a good grip. Yeah, I see. Shit, you strong. Yeah, shit. I can tell you play sports. Ma'am. Mm. Y'all can tell Ma you play sports. Ma'am. Yeah, I did. I can tell. Yeah, I did. Shit. Ma'am. It was interesting. <laughs> This bitch is crazy. So he said you got that good grip. Her mind went completely sexual. That's that's why she started to make all little sexual noises. Well, ma'am, no, your grip is actually not good. You just told us a second ago that you pushed a 10 pan baby out of your insides, which causes the doctors to shoot you that bitch back the goddamn hell up. Your grip is absolutely compromised. Damn. You gotta. <laughs> hey, what's up? What we doing, Charleston? I'm reading Shout all that shit. I done got into the fuck? comments. Shit, I done got into the comments. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. While real bitch is talking. All right, so let's, let's reset, get back to what we were talking what about. What are we talking about? We're t uh, of Peace, love, health, and wealth. T a grade two tear, Charles, love, uh, uh, PJ, <laughs> and, what, and everything that occurred, and, you know, that you do wish well for hey, him of what everything that went I on. always do, because you know what? I had a baby for him. All right, so the conversation continues for about two or three more minutes with all of this disrespect hurled from Brittany Renner. And she actually stands up and begins to twerk on Charleston White, who's married, by the way. Now, I can't play that clip because it goes against YouTube guidelines, but I can play this. It's Look, uncomfortable to be wet. Is it? Yeah. I've never been wet before, but yeah, I'm sure it's uncomfortable it? to be wet. You know, moist is one thing, but wet is just another. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what we shooting for. Yeah, that I mean. You didn't hear what? Isn't that? Miss, miss, miss ma'am. No? Oh, oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing for that. Oh, that's oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Miss Renner, Miss, Miss Renner, Miss. It appears to me that at least alcohol was involved in this entire situation. Not like it matters because she still should be held accountable for her actions. Mind you, she's got a young child who's going to grow up and be able to watch content like this of their mother. But guess what? There'll never be Brittany Renner accepting any type of accountability for her actions and how she treated these dudes on this podcast. I even doubt she'll feel bad about this situation, but you got to understand what you're dealing with right here. A demon. Because just think about what happened here. She got checked by the men off screen. But who ended up taking all of the water? The most patient and respectful men that were sitting right next to her. This is why you can't be truly passive around those that are unruly. Just think about the difference in how she conducted herself back in December when she sat down and talked with Andrew Tate. But see, Andrew Tate's different in a sense that he commands respect and presence when he enters a room. These guys on this podcast giggled through her obnoxious behavior. But her obnoxious behavior is truly an analogy for the society that we live in today. Male leadership is an afterthought. 
Male leadership is in fact suppressed. And look what happens when you make men passive around women. The crazy shit is, is that she knows she can act like this because there's other men in the room that would protect her. She's legitimately screaming at the former heavyweight champion of the world. He can go like this and she get knocked out. Or she knows she's protected because it's live streamed to a studio owner. So while her behavior is abhorrent, don't dare let any man come over and physically remove her because she knows that the perception of the man acting to remove her is going to be taken way more seriously than her shitty behavior. But for the gentlemen that were in that podcast room, understand this. She's not mad at you guys. Who's she mad at? The wall. Because it came crashing in at 304 miles per hour and now she is feeling the repercussions and the anger of it, of what she missed out on, because she knows that he's getting $50 million over three years, bubbled up in an alcohol, more than likely alcohol-induced rage, right in 4K. Brittany Renner, you need some help, baby girl. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me over to Torres and Reviews at gmail.com. What you guys think about this content here today? I know some of you guys have probably left this video a little bit early because her need to be right, her shaming, her insults, it was a little bit too much for you to take as you go on your day and you seek out peace. For, but for those that are still there, drop your comments down below because this should make for an interesting conversation. Until next time, YouTube. Shh.